At Netflix, the team discovered that high latencies in their personalized recommendation APIs were causing homepage tiles to load slower in regions with poor bandwidth. By introducing intelligent caching and age logic, they improved the perceived performance and user engagement. Slow APIs are a domino problem, like one endpoint and the everything else feels broken. So what works? Number one, Redis or Memcached caching. If your API responds with the same data for five minutes, cache it. You will reduce response time by 80 to 90% in many cases. Number two, Paginate or Stream. APIs returning entire tables are common in early stage SaaS, but it is inefficient. A such API we helped optimize went from 2.4 MB JSON data to a 120 KB paginated response with no user visible difference. Next point, compression. GZIP and broadly should be turned on. It saves bandwidth, especially over slow mobile networks or in lower bandwidth geographies. Next, rate limiting. Your own dashboard shouldn't be allowed to spam your own APIs. Clients with no throttling have faced accidental DDoAs by over-enthusiastic JavaScript loops. So guys, these are not tweaks. They are sanity preserved for your infrastructure. But good APIs still need to be delivered fast, no matter where your users are in the world. That's where front-end delivery and CDNs come in.